to my YouTube channel. Today I am filming a styling video. Um, so I haven't done a waist to wear in a while. Um, so I really wanted to do something that you guys had requested and also it's kind of like a cost per wear item, which is my Chloe Mini Faye. So I'll just show you it quickly. Before I get into it, what I wanted to do was show you the bag, how it comes, and like what I can fit inside of it, and then I'll show you, I'll t talk to you about the different ways that I can wear it with the cutaways of like how I'm styling it and like in outfits and yeah, because there's quite a few different ways to wear it, and I think it's such a versatile bag. Definitely more of a summer bag, and I got it towards the end of summer, but I think that you can definitely wear it in winter too. There's just so many different ways to wear it, so I really wanted to share it with you guys, and as I said, someone did request this video. So before I get into it, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week on a Thursday and a Sunday, um, which are all fashion related, and then this month for Vlogmas I'm doing a weekly vlog, maybe twice weekly, just depending on how much footage I have and how interesting my life is. So I got my clothes bag from Farfetch, but I'm pretty sure you can get it from most websites. I'll link below, and I'll link, um, I always try and remember to link for uh, America and the UK. Sorry if I'm like, there's a dog trying to attack me here. That's why I'm like fidgeting my hands. Um, so this is, I seriously, Penelope, you're making this very hard. So this is a little dress bag that it comes in. It doesn't come in in a box. Um, and I do keep all my bags in their dress bags because I just want them to stay in condition. Little authenticity card thing. I got my Chloe Bay Mini in like a blue color. Um, it's a really nice blue, it's the same colour that Negin has, which is the exact reason why I got it, because I saw how she was wearing it as a bum bag, and I thought it was really cool, um, and I just really love the style of it, I think it's a really cute little summer bag, such a nice colour, and I think blue is quite a neutral colour too, like it looks really, I'm so sorry about this dog, seriously, oh, I'm so sorry, she's just jeering me, <laughs> Penelope please, for the bag so it'll go with all outfits but it's not I don't really like getting black bags I do have a couple of black bags um like one actually I think I've only got one which is my Gucci bag um I'll put my handbag collection actually up here or like in the description below um but yeah I think I've only got one black bag or two um but I just think I don't know I just really like colorful bags because I think accessories really make an outfit but I always try to stick to colors that are quite neutral um so I think this is quite a neutral color but it's also such a beautiful colour and also blue is not really seasonal even though it is quite a nice beautiful summery bag like I always think Chloe bags are quite summery um, it's still something that I would wear all year round so inside I'll just open it up this is suede and leather this one but I think you can get all leather and lots of different like types it's lined with light suede and then it's got like a little section for three cards um, inside and yeah and then the straps are adjustable, but I'm not sure how. I haven't actually worked out yet the different ways to wear. Like, I know the different ways to wear, but I haven't worked out how to create them. So there's going to be some research after I film this before I do the outfits. But I have seen other people wearing them, so I know that it's possible. But before I get into the styling portion, I wanted to show you what fits in the bag. And I haven't actually done this yet. I've just got some pieces here that I would put in my bag. So first of all, iPhone 8 Plus. This has got quite a heavy um, like phone case on it too, it's an Otterbox phone case, so I'll link it below because it's actually such a good phone case, um, and it is quite bulky because it's one of the ones that protects them. So that fits in quite easily, I'm saying that now, that fits in quite easily. Sunglasses, give it a coin purse, a lipstick, some sunglasses and an iPhone 8 Plus quite not easily and then close it. So just using the card gaps for my card you can fit in here quite easily and close iPhone 8 Plus, the coin purse, um, my sunglasses and a uh, MAC lipstick which is just like a general size lipstick. So you can fit quite a substantial amount in there like definitely everything you need. I generally tend to use my pockets as well so if I'm carrying a small bag like this then I'll put my camera and a lens in my pocket. I'll wear a coat with big pockets and put that in my pockets, my phone in my pockets, probably like my charger in my pockets and then put like my lipstick, my keys, 
sunglasses and stuff in the bag. So let's talk about different ways to wear the bag now. So the first way that I had in mind of wearing it, which is why I initially bought it, as I mentioned, was as a bum bag. So I saw this on Negin, um, one of my favourite fashion bloggers, and she wore it as a bum bag and it looked amazing. She wears it with like really casual, I'll put a picture in, she wears it really casual with like dresses, with jeans, with like airport attire. She literally wears it for anything. It looks so cool. Um, and I would definitely wear it for casual like she does I'm going to put like overlay or put in after like some of me wearing it and like talk about it and then also I've seen one of my favourite fashion bloggers as well um, the fashion fraction I'll put a picture in she wears her Gucci bum bag or like belt bag with like evening dresses so, like really fancy swanky like ball gowns even and it looks amazing like it's such a cool way of wearing it it's definitely not the way that I would have thought of but I think that this bag would work perfectly for that kind of it thing as well like whether it was just like a party dress like a shorter dress or like a full-on ball gown don't think I've got one of those to show you but I will show you it in like a more of an evening kind of look so this one is going to take a bit of working out so next I'm going to do the bum bag so I'm going to unclip this first of all and then I'm going to unclip one of these and I've been looking at Negan's picture of how she did it and I'm pretty sure that what she did was she just tied it round twice so I've completely undone it now and I'm going to tie it round once and twice will it go round? maybe I'm too big to wear it like this oh here we go Maybe if she's tiny or I'm huge, one or the other. If I did figure out another way of wearing it, if I have to, it's not preferable. So I can do it on the last notch there, and it's a bum bag. Or, and then, so if I wanted to do it like a tight bum bag, but what I'm going to do is also undo this one and do that on the last notch. And then you have yourself a wee bum bag. I need to notch that one back on. So I've just done this with a grey jumper and black jeans because I do actually just really like the combo of this with grey. I think it looks really nice. And then I want to show it with a coat on top. And then this is it with a coat, um, and this is literally the warmest coat. I've just got it from Revolve. It's so cosy. I'll link everything I've worn in below. But I really like it as a bum bag. I think this is my favourite option so far. It's definitely how I had envisioned myself wearing it. It is tight, like, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's quite tight. I mean, it's comfortable for me, but I do think that maybe... If you are above a size 8 slash 10, you probably can't wear it like this unless you like extended the strap or another way I found of doing it, I'll show you now actually. So another way I figured out of doing it was how I'd done it before. So to make it short, I just unclipped that, opened it up, wrapped over these two. So they cross over here like so and then close the bag, clip that back on. So it's shorter. And then I just slipped it over my head. And it's a way looser bum bag. So probably looser than I would want it. But I guess if you wanted to wear it loose like that, then it's fine. Um, but I would be worried that it would slip down. But there's plenty more room in there. So if you are a bigger size, then you could do it like that. Um, and I think you could, if you didn't couldn't get it over your shoulders, you could do it um, by just doing it, taking it completely off and then wrapping it around and doing it. Um, whilst it's on you like that so there's another way of wearing it if you wanted to or you could do it like this and then if it's too loose you could always kind of clip it at the back or do something in the back to help it to fit then as I said you could wear it as a bum bag with an evening dress this is like a really summer one but I haven't really had any fancy events this year in the winter so I haven't uh, got any winter dresses apart from a slip dress but it just looks like a cami so I just wanted to show you it with this dress it looks really nice actually I would way prefer to wear a bag like this than as a clutch because I just think it kind of gives it that more edgy kind of look. Not like too edgy, but it's just like, it's really flattering for one because it cinches you in at the waist. Secondly, you can hold your drinks and your camera that you don't have to worry about, hands. Um, and thirdly, I just think it's really nice. Like, it breaks up the outfit, it adds a beautiful bag and the colour is worn in a different way that people might not have seen before. 
um, and I just think it's a really nice, it really complements the outfit. So the second way of wearing it, and probably the way that it was most intended, with a bag like this, is crossbody, and um, it looks amazing crossbody. I've seen loads of people wearing it like this, um, and I think it would look really cute for like more of a summer look, crossbody, like denim shorts, white t-shirt, but then also I'm going to show you ways to style it more for winter, because obviously it is winter, I think with like a big chunky cream knit, and like a fluffy teddy jacket or something look really nice I love kind of like pastels for winter too which is why I do think that this is something that you could wear all year round the crossbody I would say it's more of like a day look because it's quite a casual way of wearing a bag so definitely probably wouldn't wear crossbody for evening so first off I just wanted to show you this with just a big chunky knit and some jeans um, and I just think it looks really cute with this outfit. I don't think it looks lost at all. And I want to show you with, I know I said it looks, it's more of a summer bag. So I wanted to show you it with more seasonal outfits. Because obviously it's winter at the moment. Um, and I do think that like in the summer it's so easy to pair small bags. But with winter sometimes you can feel like they might get lost. And I definitely don't think it looks like it's lost with this at all. I also think that small bags like this are almost like a piece of jewellery. I know that sounds silly but it's like another accessory so I don't think I would feel silly wearing this with an outfit and then holding another bag or wearing another bag on my shoulder like a tote bag or something um, and then I wanted to show you it with a coat as well. So I know this is a huge jacket but obviously it's freezing at the moment, well not obviously, I don't know when you're watching this, you might be watching it in the middle of summer then you'll be like these outfits are not helpful at all but at least I'm showing you different ways of wearing it in terms of like the style even if you don't wear it um, in these outfits. So I like to, if I'm wearing a big jacket, I like to wear it underneath. First of all, because it can protect it from the weather, if it's raining or snowing or something, then this kind of protects it. Second of all, I just think over the top of this, um, it would just look too much. It would be, it would be lost, it would be, it would look weird. So to me, I just think, and it's more comfortable to wear it like this, it's easier if you're taking your jacket on and off. Um, so yeah, I just way prefer it like this, um, and I think it looks better. And then um, I also, when I wear over the shoulder like crossbody bags, I do prefer to wear them in the middle so you can see them rather than round the actual side. I'm not a big fan of it actually on the side. I like it when it's in the centre so you can see it because it is a bag you want to show off. So yeah, I like it like this. And then it goes in the middle of the coat. I mean, some people, I don't really ever do coats up. I'd rather wear a chunky scarf in the middle than do a coat up. So yeah, and if I wore a scarf, then I'd definitely wear this over the top of the scarf. So just to demonstrate what I said before about the scarf, I. Um, done this over the scarf because I do think otherwise the scarf would completely hide the bag so I like it with the scarf underneath. I would wear a coat with this but I'd probably just drape it over my shoulders or like a long coat um, but I just want to show you the outfit to be honest because um, I really think it's super cute. So I've just got a little plaid skirt on and then a cropped jumper that just kind of overlaps a bit with these huge comfy sleeves and then I really like the pink from the skirt it goes really nice with the pink in this and then it's all grey so it looks really nice with the like pale blue, pale blue and pink are like a perfect combination and I just really like it with this kind of outfit. I think crossbody bags look really cute with skirt outfits. So another way that I figured of wearing it was with a short handle. So what I did was I got the strap, I opened up the bag, crossed, oh, uh, first I did this lock thing as well, crossed over the straps and then closed the lock so that it like keeps it in, then shut the bag, I'm not doing a very good way of demonstrating this, and it makes it into a shorter handle, and this is really cute for day, again, if you want to go for like a really cute like just on the shoulder look, or if you wanted to have it like more of a small crossbody, I really like this on the shoulder just like as a cute little shoulder bag. So I would wear that day and evening, so in the evening maybe with like a real casual, like smart casual evening look with like a blazer and a cheat it's like slogan tee and jeans or like a skirt and a t-shirt, um, just like a smart casual look, I think that bag is perfect. And then also in the day for a more kind of like, again, smart casual, but like more day wear, like jeans, boots, jacket kind of thing. I think it looks really cute. So I'm totally jumping between seasons here, but I would, this is a quite a summery outfit, but I don't have like a white party dress or pale blue party dress or like a pastel kind of party dress to show you. So this is basically my little dress and jacket option, which could be party or, um, like day, summer, probably not this sort of thing for the um, 
day in the winter but like with a summer dress and a denim jacket like this or you could do um, with like a little leather jacket or a jacket um, and like a party dress in the evening for winter but I just think it looks really cute in the shortened strap as I showed you um, where you just fold over the straps and then cut the chain on um, it looks really cute just on the shoulder like this um, for this kind of look I mean it does work really nice for summer for daytime I think it looks better with light layers like I probably wouldn't wear it like this with a coat but I think if you've got a chunky knit that you could wear instead of a coat it would look really cool so I'll just show you that now so this is the outfit um, with a chunky knit and also I think if you wanted to wear a coat with this which obviously you probably would right now I would just wear a coat over the top so you can't see the bag and then you could just see it when you take it off if you know what I mean or like have your coat over your shoulder um, but I really like it with a chunky knit like this it looks really cute especially like the pink and the blue I'm loving pink at the moment and I think um, I know this isn't a pastel but it looks really nice with pastel colours so together they look really sweet um, and I just think this is a really nice kind of everyday chuck on outfit so the final way to wear it is to take the strap completely off and wear it as a clutch bag which is such a cute look and I think it looks perfect for like evening wear so if you want to wear like a little black dress or a little white dress would look so cute with this um, or like just anything you want to wear I think it would look so nice as an evening look I think as well without the strap you could wear it for more fancy occasions too um, and yeah it's just such a beautiful bag and there's so many different ways to wear it so to wear as a clutch bag you literally just unpop both sides of the strap and completely take the strap off and then you've got it there with no strap whatsoever nothing because I thought you might have to fill it in but no you can take the strap completely off and then you can just hold it as well if you'd rather I mean both look really nice it depends what kind of look you're going for this is a way more feminine chic kind of look whereas the other way it's a bit more edgy and more like fashion-y um, so I guess it depends what kind of event you're going to if you're going to like Wimbledon or the tennis or something maybe you want to wear this and if you're going to more like a fashion event then you might wear it the other way or you can wear it however you want to be honest but I really like it like this and this is such a versatile bag honestly and I know £500 is a lot for a bag but when we're talking designer bags £500 is super entry level and it's a really nice bag because there's a million ways to wear it and you kind of fit your essentials in it I know that it hasn't like you could probably like there's bags that you could fit everything you need in but I don't like to carry everything I need around with me because I just think you'll get a broken back so actually mini bags are the way forward because you only carry around the essentials that you actually need so I really hope that I've inspired you to wear either purchase the mini Chloe um, I will link some dupes below too because I know obviously this is like a uh, high-end bag 500 pounds in the lower scale of high-end bags but it's still a lot for a handbag so if you can't afford one then I'll definitely link lots of alternatives below so that everyone can style these outfits themselves if they want to so if I have inspired you to make a purchase then I would love to hear about it also if you've got the bag already and I've inspired you to style it in different ways then I would love to hear um, and anyway I'm gonna head off now because I've been labouring for way too long but thanks so much for watching this video I hope that you liked it if there's any other pieces in my wardrobe or like key pieces at the moment that you want me to style then I would love to hear I actually am in the process of trying desperately to get some over the knee boots so that I can do a styling video and also just generally I really want some but I've got like the most ridiculously skinny legs which sounds like a good thing but it's really not when you want over the knee boots so if anyone knows of any good ones then let me know um, I want some that aren't investment before I go for the Stuart Whiteman. I need to like know if I'm actually going to wear them. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll stop blabbing now. Oh, one more thing. I'm doing a Q&A too soon. So if there's anything you want to know, then leave me questions below. Personal, work, anything. Penelope, literally anything you want to know, let me know. And I will answer those. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you next time.